Hey everybody, this is John. Um, I'm going to start doing some tutorials on Camtasia and Captivate. But before I started, I wanted to address some um, emails I've been getting. Basically, people asking me, you know, which should I choose? I'm starting to create some e-learning and um, either I want to buy Camtasia or Captivate. My employer is trying to choose which to buy. So I was just going to try to tell you based on, you know, I know you can go through the videos, tutorials through other sites, but this is based on my experience actually using the both tools and finding the pros and cons of both tools and kind of deciding which one I like better for what stuff. So let me go ahead and get started. Now let's look at um, Camtasia first. So right now, this video right now, I'm recording it in Camtasia. And the reason I'm recording it in Camtasia, now the, look at my first bullet point under pros. It's great for recording software simulations with no interactivity. Now this isn't a software simulation. This is just basically a PowerPoint show, one that I threw together really quickly. But um, Camtasia is very good. If you're recording something and you just want to show someone everything that's on your screen and you don't have to worry about going in and editing it, you just want to be able to export it as a format and just play it on a website, just insert it in a, a course, this is the way to go because, I mean, it's really simple to use. Um, it exports in a lot of different file formats. Uh, my second bullet point, it's great. Uh, has great zoom functions for focusing on portions of the screen. So what I mean by that is that you can record something, you know, at a, maybe like 800 by 600, but then you have to shrink it maybe to maybe fit it on a web file size wise. But you can always, uh, it has a really good zoom. You can zoom into a portion of the screen that you're talking about, um, and that's really helpful when you're talking about certain portions of the screen that might be smaller. You just kind of zoom in. And it's pretty neat the way it sets it up. It's really easy to do. Um, it's also good for creating really simple video presentations, and by that I mean um, not recording software. Just say you want to put together, it's almost like a PowerPoint, but with a little bit more interactivity. Uh, it comes with some, or at least the Windows version, comes with some pretty good uh, animated backgrounds and you can add titles and you can move text and have text fade in and out and you could add simple, if you've ever used iMovie, iMovie um, kind of simple cross uh, transitions, cross fades, dissolve, stuff like that. So, I mean, it's really easy if, the, if all you're worried about is just recording your screen. Um, some of the cons, it's very hard to edit the screen content. And what I mean by that is it's basically like a movie. So if I record something and say I have an address up in my little, uh, you know, where my URL is and I want to change that address, I can't. I it could because it's a movie, it's not uh, screen captures, and I'll talk about that in a minute, like Captivate does. So um, if you want to edit any kind of stuff, it's very hard to do. Your mouse movement, where your mouse goes, that's where it goes. You can't make it move somewhere else. So it's kind of tough when it comes to that. Um, and the second bullet point, adding captions and callouts is time consuming and sometimes difficult. The Word version, I mean, excuse me, the Windows version is not too hard. Uh, it's actually, it's okay adding captions and stuff, but the Mac version for some reason is a lot harder to use and I, I don't like it at all. Um, so just adding that stuff, it's it, it's just, a, it, it gets time consuming when you have to add fade in, fade out. It's almost like a mini video editing software. So like I said, it's really good. That's why I'm using it for this, for video recordings, but uh, other stuff, it's it's kind of difficult. So the price is $2.99, which is not too bad. Um, and I'll, at the very end, I'll go into some other software you can use. So we have that for Camtasia. Now let's look at Captivate. Now Captivate is basically what I'm going to be covering in my uh, series because Captivate's great for recording software simulations with interactivity. And by that, I mean, here's the big difference between Captivate and Camtasia. Cap Camtasia records um, screenshots. It doesn't it actually it doesn't have screenshots. It's like a long movie. Captivate actually records every time you move your mouse. It records separate screenshots. So, and I'll show this in one of the later videos. When you open up your Captivate project after you've recorded something, you'll have um, sixty different slides, and each slide has a um, screen capture. So, if there's something on the screen that you need to change, or, or maybe 
the people who are developing the software say, oh, by the way, this field changed. You can just copy that, uh, screen capture, paste it into Photoshop, change it, import it right back in, and it works perfectly. So it's great for that. Um, another good thing about it is that the mouse movement is simulated. So you can actually move the mouse around. You know, Say you started in the wrong place, you can move it and have it go to the right place. Or say you clicked on the wrong field, you can mock and, and change a lot of things. Very customizable. Um, another thing, recordings can be easily converted to triads, which means you record something once and you can captivate, you can basically add uh, little hotspots where people can say, okay, you've seen it, now click here, click here, click here, and they can actually go through it and it can give them feedback as if they're clicking the right place, uh, you know, it can give them a couple chances, then it'll do it for them, so it's pretty neat. Um, good quiz function, you can create some pretty decent quizzes. Um, the quizzes will talk to LMS. You can create quizzes that are the, the traditional type quizzes, multiple choice, uh, fill in the blank, true, false. Or you can create quizzes where they actually have to click portions of the screen. And all that stuff can be scored, and it's all SCORM AICC compliant, which is, if you don't know what that means, that just has to do with the LMS, which is, um, if you don't know what LMS is, an LMS is a learning management system. And most clients um, actually upload all their courses to learning management systems. That way they can keep track of people who take the courses. Um, so this Captivate is awesome uh, for creating full either e-learning portions, you know, simulations in your courses, or it, it can be actually be used to create full-blown e-learning courses. I mean, from start to finish. So it's a really robust tool. Um, the only thing is, the recording's not as smooth, so it's not going to look as good as if you recorded something in Camtasia. You won't be able to have it has a zoom-in function. It's not that great. Um, so you kind of lose that and then the output, uh, it doesn't output as many different video formats, which is not good, but you also notice there's a big difference in price. So price is $7.99 as opposed to $2.99. Um, and like I said, the reason it's so much more expensive is just because it's so much more robust. It can do, you can do everything with it. Um, another thing, and it's, it's a, I guess I would recommend getting it if, I mean, if you're going to be creating e-learning, I would probably recommend getting it because a lot of companies are moving towards Captivate. A lot of companies are asking their trainers to convert classes, uh, traditional classroom uh, classes into e-learning. And they're just saying, here, you know what? Here's a PowerPoint of the, that we used in the class. Here's Captivate, convert it. So uh, it, it's a really good skill to have right now. It's really picking up. Um, and so conclusion, it's really your choice. You can kind of just base it on what I, what I've been telling you. And I'm, I'm, I come to my decision just basically, you know, Camtasia is good for some things, Captivate, Captivate's good for some things, but it's because I've used them so many times and I've had different clients want me to use it for so many different projects. Um, and there's another, some of you might say, well, you know, I, there's free software out there. I think there's something called Screencaster. There's other free softwares that will record. A lot of computers and software packages come with basic screen recording software. And that's fine. I mean, if, if you're doing stuff like I'm doing, just putting putting things out on the web, that's absolutely fine. But they don't have a lot of the functionality if you're creating courses for corporations and they need that professional look. They need that. Um, they need to tailor the look to match their colors, things like that. So. Um, I hope this was helpful, and in the next couple uh, video series, I'll be covering Captivate, and then I'll get it a little bit into Camtasia. Thanks.